Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video, another in my more bang for your buck, use a basic simple tag die on lots of different cards video series. Today I'm making this card a let's celebrate card, so I'll take you through the entire process and hopefully give you some hints and tips along the way. Right, let's get on with it. So first things first, I want to colour my tags and I'm going to use some inks from the Catherine Pooler Spa collection. We've got It's a Girl, Bellini, Chiffon, In the Park, It's a Boy, Sweet Sixteen. So we've got an almost complete rainbow there. The only thing I haven't got is an indigo. So I'm just going to blend on some colour. I want to go for a pastelish look, I think. So I'm going to do the green one again because it's come out far too dark compared to the other colours. So I'm just going to go over it with the ink that's left on my brush. So I've got my rainbow of tags here and I want them to tumble down my card front a bit like this. But I don't want them to physically overlap. I want them to interlock, I think. So I'm going to cut the tags with the tag die so that they interlock. And I'm going to pop a bit of double sided tape here so that I can stick them down as I go. So that one will slot in there like that. So I'll have that one like that. That one's going to go like that. So I want that one to go like that. So I've just quickly coloured another tag with the red, the pink again, it's a girl, because I want to finish my stack of tags with red. So it's gone full circle around the uh, rainbow. And to secure these even more, I'm going to add a bit of regular sticky tape on the back. And that'll just hold everything in place. Right, and now I'm going to chop a bit off the top one. And a bit off the bottom one. And I just want to get that horizontal as well. So I'm pushing that up against the top of the trimmer. And then I'm going to cut down here. Cross there. So that should be parallel with that. Before I add this to my card blank, I want to add a bit of splatter, a bit of metallic dark gold splatter, just for shimmer and shine and a bit of energy. 
My card blank is five by seven inches, smooth white cardstock, and I've added a panel about an eighth of an inch smaller all the way around onto the front already. And I've put foam tape all over the back of my tags because I want to pop it up and give it some dimension. And I'm gonna add this to the, well, it will be the left-hand side when it's the right way up. Like that. For my sentiment, I have got a Let's Celebrate stamp, and I'm going to stamp it on the same smooth white cardstock that I've made the card from. I'm going to stamp it in black, and then I'm going to heat emboss it with clear embossing powder so that it stands out and is nice and glossy. I do have black embossing powder, but I find more success when I stamp in black and then heat emboss over with clear embossing powder. I think you just get a crisper image that way. So I've stamped in black, I'm just going to wipe the black ink off of my stamp and then stamp again in embossing ink. And then I'll dip it in my clear embossing powder. So that's lovely and dark and crisp now and I can cut my banner out of it. So I actually put my stamp too close to this end to be able to cut out my banner. So I'm going to abandon the banner for now and just cut it using a square end. So now I think I want a square end at both ends. So I'm going to pop this back in here and try and get that lined up so the teeth of the die bite into the little grooves that were left. So now we've got a nice rectangle with words let's celebrate on and I'm thinking to put some party balloons about there and I'm going to use this gold mirror card I want to back these balloons with a bit of vellum, so I'm going to add some of the Zig two-way glue pen and let it go tacky. So when it goes clear, it's tacky. And I'll stick the vellum to it then. So I've backed my gold ones with vellum, but to give the balloons a bit more dimension, I'm going to stack them. So I've cut two white balloons here, set of balloons. I'm going to line these up, glue them together with a bit of tacky glue. And pop the gold ones on top. Actually, I might offset them so that they've got a little white drop shadow. I think that looks quite nice. And I'll put glue on the back of those. I need a little bit of craft foam for my sentiment. these with plenty of glue on the back and pop them so they're overlapping the sentiment a bit to make sure everything is bound together. I think it needs a little bit of glue under there and to bind everything together again to marry it all up I'm gonna pop a diagonal of Gold Nouveau Drops and there you have it, a Let's Celebrate card. You could use that for 
any occasion when there is a celebration, I think. The tags work because when you celebrate, you give people presents and you often put a gift tag on the presents. Balloons, obviously, they're part of celebrations as well. And all the rainbow colours and the gold all says celebrate. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video and maybe picked up some hints and tips along the way. If you have, do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.